Hello YouTube, you are currently in my kitchen, believe it or not, and I wanted to make a little video with it being cold outside with just how my heating system works and I'm getting loads of free electricity from my solar panels. So I put a little video on now um, of my solar panels and they're all rigged up and I'll bring you a bit closer to show you how this temporary setup works. It's all here because I just needed to get it set up so I could move in. It's all going to go upstairs when, once I've got a little bit further on up there. This is a device which turns all of the solar power into usable electricity. And then this one here is called a solar diverter. So it watches how much electricity I'm using and how much is being made. And as you can see here, it says I'm pulling, pulling electricity into the house. The sun isn't shining and nothing's been heated up as a result. Should, should I start producing power, it starts putting it into my electric water heater. Or it puts it into my underfloor heating, which is, uh, which is really cool. It's a very clever box. Prioritising my hot water tank, and then when the, the sun's really been shining, which it hasn't been today, but yesterday it was. And I'll just show you. I hope you can see that okay. And the sound's not too bad, but you can see that yesterday it put 2.6 kilowatt hours into my tank, which got it up to temperature, enough for me to have a shower and wash up the dishes, etc. And then it put in 10.6 10 into my underfloor heating, which is a, a decent amount. The, the slab was slightly warm yesterday, so it's enough to take the edge off things. And this is a great little, little app. Uh, let's boost this. It's this I'm using grid power to go into this which is a wireless heater so when the tank is up to temperature the solar power goes into here so all those photons hitting the solar panels get turned into electricity going round this heater and it's only when I'm not, not using it so now it's heating up to temperature this thermostat here will tell the pump to turn on and that takes all of the heat away from this Willis heater and pumps it around my underfloor heating. So now that heat is coming out of here and you can follow it. It goes around here into the bottom, rises up and gets pumped around here and then it keeps going around the loop and this is the underfloor heating loop. So that's one end and that's the other end. That's just a big essentially a coil going round the floor. This would be better linked up to an air source heat pump because it's not a very good way to use electricity um, to put it into heat because it's such a versatile fuel it can be used to, to, to power an air source heat pump which multiplies it or it can be used for lighting on a night time if you've got batteries. I don't have batteries but at some point I will get them when I'm set up upstairs and I've got a bit more money to spend on them because they're very expensive. But for, for now, uh, this is a, a great way of using that excess solar because if I sold it back to the grid, I'm getting very little for it and the heat is useful. The diverter prioritises the hot water, which my tank is just through here. And this is a tank with a couple of immersion heaters in, which is the same thing as the Willis heater. It's just an electric element. Sorry if there's a plumber or if there's any plumbers watching this, I'm sorry that I'm doing that. That's a safety device and it should go outside. <laughs> I, uh, I use it to, to fill the bath up. Um, but I will, I will duck that outside, I know it's dangerous because it could scold you if it goes off. Um, and you're in the shower, which is there's very little chance of that, but that's just my little justification out of the way. Yes, and also the emergency it shouldn't be there. But it's just to get me up and going whilst I'm doing upstairs. Anyway, this is beside the point. The hot water tank is heated up by the solar panels. And that shower there comes straight off that pressurised cylinder. But recently there's been times when I've had no solar um, energy going into the hot water. So I've had to use either the kettle to do the washing up or I've had to use I've got an electric shower rigged up. Um, so there's it because there's no point in using the immersion heaters from the grid because maybe the next day the solar has got nowhere to, to put its energy. 
That's that. I hope you like my bath, by the way. That's that's the bath that's come out of the manor house in near Sedgefield. Had a bit of jiggery pokery to do with the taps, but isn't it amazing? Look at it. It's all got the patina in all the right places. Gorgeous. So that's how my heating system works. All of that heat that's in that tank that comes out of these taps is uh, is purely created by photons hitting the roof, being turned into electric and then into heat, which is absolutely fantastic. I think it's that energy transfer is just absolutely brilliant, isn't it? That we can uh, we live in a world that we can do that. Uh, and that's where the bulk of the heat comes from though, from burning burning things, which uh, Ziggy really enjoys. So I'm going to edit this video now. Um, thank you very much for, for watching and uh, hopefully see you again.